Karim Fahmi. I'm back again after no, long no see uh, because I had some health issues in my uh, back here. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine and everything is okay. And uh, continuing our series about Azure architecture and features and services. Uh, some people are lazy just to go to the documentation and read and get what is new inside uh, the Azure. So actually what I'm doing is I'm explaining what's inside the document and also sharing my experience uh, using the services inside Azure. So uh, today is not so long video. Today we're going to talk about Azure Bastion or Bastion. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Some people say Bastion, some people say Bastion, but I think Bastion is more uh, relative. So let's go and see uh, what Azure Bastion uh, talks about. Uh, quickly here, uh, if I open my uh, browser on the uh, Azure Bastion, um, that is talking about it's a it's a platform managed service and you can connect seamlessly uh, through RDP SSH to your virtual machines over SSL. So that means that you don't need any um, you don't need any public IPs in order to connect to your virtual machine inside, which lower the attacking service to your uh, machine. So if you have like express routes or if you have like side to side VPN and you are outside the company now and you need to manage some of your virtual machines. So rather than using the point to site, uh, you can use the Azure Bastion, which is really, really secure. Uh, I consider it as um, a point to site, but it's kind of like platform as a service automated thing that you don't need to set anything. Uh, just you set it once on the portal and then you use it uh, multiple times. You don't need certificates and stuff like this. Okay, so this is the documentation here. So you're going to find the architecture and uh, this is how it looks like. So you, you the user goes through the Azure portal through SSL and the Azure portal connects to the Azure Bastion. So the Azure Bastion here uh, is located inside a subnet that you created and that's what, what are we going to show you here um, inside the uh, demo and um, yeah so this link I'm gonna share it with you and also um, just to note that this service is only available in West US and uh, here here are the regions that is available uh, for uh, Azure Bastion so um, let's go and see the demo here so it's really easy so you go to yeah here so in the search and search for Azure, sorry, this is my German keyboard, sorry, Azure. <laughs> so the Azure version, yes. <clears throat> okay, go here. So this one I created earlier, but I'm gonna show you how to create it from the beginning. So let's add a new Azure version. Okay. So first thing that you choose your subscription and resource group, whatever that you like, just create a new resource group and put your instance name and choose the location and then the uh, virtual networks. I already created one. If you don't have, so you have to create. So if I chose West Europe, you're going to find here. Mine is already created. Yeah, don't worry about this because I already uh, made it before. Yeah, here's the, the most important thing that when, when you are creating your virtual network for the Azure Bastion, you have to create a, um, a subnet called Azure Bastion subnet, exactly the same uh, spelling, the same uh, everything, the same case. And uh, at least it should have uh, the subnet of slash 27 and or more. So you, you have to make it 27, 26, 25, not less than 27, like 28, 29 is, is not working. Uh, it won't work. So you have to make it 27, 26, 25, the larger um, subnets. Okay. Then here's the public IP address for the Azure Bastion, uh, which you create new one and then click next. Then you can have the tags, whatever, then next review and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it should validate and do the creation. Okay. After, after it's finished, so you will get something like this here. So this is after the creation and here we go. This is the, this is the Azure Bastion that I've created earlier. And 
here are the sessions if there are open sessions or something like this so how we can use it now so i already created a virtual machine inside this virtual network and let's go back here let's go to the virtual machine here and that i've created earlier it's vm01 and as you see there is no public ip address and only private ip so I need to connect to this virtual machine. So what I'm going to do, so let's press on to connect. So by the way, this machine is uh, Windows uh, 2016 data center edition. So let's press connect. So as you see here, there are three types of connections. So the uh, normal RGP, SSH, and Bayesian. So if you choose this one, um, if, if you have a public IP address, so you're going to connect. If you have a private IP address, so you have to connect through uh, P2S, which is a point to site. SSH, if it is a Linux machine, so you can have to connect to SSH, or if you have a Windows machine, open the SSH console there, uh, or port, so you can connect it through uh, otherwise a public IP address or uh, connect through the point to site. So here's the Azure Bastion, and here's the part that we talk about. So the Azure Bastion asks you for the username and password of your machine directly without anything else, and that's what I'm gonna show you. So the, my username is here. And my password, not gonna tell you. And connect. See, it opens a new tab and loading. Allow. It's asking for the clipboard. Wow, that's really fast. So you imagine that you can do this through. Um, your um, laptop or PC, whatever you are, having internet access to uh, go through your virtual machine if you, if you need something urgent to be fixed or something like this, or to see some logs or have an instant access for your service if you're outside the company, but you have to access the portal. So as you see, it's up and running here. And it's loading for sure because it's. Uh, I just opened it earlier. Yeah, so you see the the performance here is is really cool, and uh, so I can switch here and here. So yeah, so this is your machine here. Let's see. Oh, here, um, networks you that this is yeah okay so this is the azure bastion so yep uh, that was uh, today's um quick video about azure bastion um i hope you see the more documentation about it and uh, use it uh, through your projects uh for sure in the in the agreed regions with microsoft and, uh, and this also will uh, make a faster time to market delivery uh, for the projects uh, if you need to have like um, a RDP solution or accessing your uh, machines. Uh, Azure Bastion is scalable and uh, it's uh, till now they are still um, working on it to include the file transfer because currently it's not included. And um, uh, soon that you're going to find um, uh, other uh, announcements about Azure Bastion. Thank you for watching and uh, I'm happy that I'm back again and uh, wait uh, for more videos talking about uh, um, much more services from Azure and much more deeper stuff. Have a nice day. Stay tuned. Keep positive. Bye.